Okay, so number of carbons for this compound, one, two. So we have two carbons. That means that the number of hydrogens is going to be two times n, the number of carbons, which is two in this case, plus two equals two times two is four, plus two equals six. So in order for this compound to be considered saturated, it should have six hydrogens, but it only has one, two, three, four hydrogens. That means it's missing two hydrogens. And if you're missing two hydrogens, that's equal to one unit of unsaturation. And cool, you guys, you've just seen your very first alkene. And an alkene, this is just a hydrocarbon with one unit of unsaturation. Remember, you guys, an alkane is a hydrocarbon with zero units of unsaturation. We just saw that an alkene has one unit of unsaturation, and you're going to see in just a second that an alkyne has two units of unsaturation. So, hey, let's look at an example of an alkyne now. And hey, let's take this for example, HCCH, and this is going to look like this, a C, triple bonded to another C, and an H coming off each of these carbons. Okay, so let me ask you, would we call this compound an alkane? Is this compound completely saturated with hydrogens? No, right? Because we just saw before with ethane, let me redraw that up here for you. We just saw before with ethane that a two carbon compound needs six hydrogens to be considered completely saturated. This guy only has two hydrogens. He's actually missing this hydrogen, this hydrogen, this hydrogen, and this hydrogen. So how many hydrogens are we missing in this compound total? Four, right? So how many units of unsaturation does this guy have? Two, right? One for these two missing hydrogens and one for these two missing hydrogens. And you can see these two units of unsaturation accounted for by two multiple bonds, one here and one here. And that's because one multiple bond for every unit of unsaturation. And hey, this is why we define alkanes as saturated hydrocarbons. It's because we want to say that, hey, alkanes have zero units of unsaturation. Alkenes have one unit of unsaturation. And alkynes have two units of unsaturation. That is the only difference between alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. Alkanes consist only of single bonds. Alkenes have double bonds, and alkynes have triple bonds, okay? Okay, so one more thing to note here, you guys. You've just seen multiple bonds cause a compound to have units of unsaturation, to be lacking hydrogens. However, there is one other way for a compound to have unsaturation, and that is by forming rings. Anytime you see a ring, you should automatically think, hey, that's one unit of unsaturation. And an example of a compound in a ring is a cycloalkane, bringing us into our next topic. So hey, let me erase this and we'll get into that, you guys. Okay, so let's make a note here. Note. A cycloalkane is just an alkane that's folded in a ring. Okay, so hey, a cycloalkane is just an alkane that's folded in a ring. And since it's just an alkane, and alkanes are made of all single bonds, we'll say that this guy has all single bonds, but the thing that makes this guy a special alkane is that he will have one unit of unsaturation. One unit of unsaturation where this ring connects.
But hey, if you don't know what any of this means, then cool, we're gonna get into it in just a second, all right? Okay, so hey, if you're an alkane, you can either be a straight chain alkane or a ring cycloalkane. And what does this mean? Well, hey, up to this point, we've only been seeing straight chain alkanes like this, for example, like CH3 connected to a CH2 connected to a CH2, etc. right? Where these carbons are in a straight chain. But hey, these carbons can also be folded up into rings. So let's see an example of that. And let's look at a six carbon example to start out with, all right? Okay, so example, a six carbon compound. Okay, so the straight chain form of a six carbon compound will look like this. And go ahead and draw it exactly how I'm gonna do it and you'll see why in just a second, all right? So, hey, go ahead and draw a C connected to three hydrogens connected to a CH2, connected to a CH2, connected to a CH2, connected to a CH2, connected to a C that's connected to three hydrogens, okay? 